Greetings everyone, my name is Blitz here, and welcome back to this not so much of a headache game of National Park Goose. Here's Jesse with us helping us out with our days. Jesse's voice pops with static over the headphones. I turn from the radio and back to the girls. Yellowstone dusts the corners, inspecting for even the tiniest speck. Zian rubs Pop's pink pop belly in front of a roaring fireplace. Yosemite jots down notes on whatever scrap piece of paper she can find on the table littered with them. I guess I just have a penchant for it. Mm-hmm. But still, to just stumble on a fire like that. She says it with a phony curiosity that seesaws with genuine concern. She suspects something and she's trying to gouge it out of me, as sly as ever, Jesse. Well, in any case, I'm just happy you're safe. We got awfully lucky with this one. If you say that. Wind, you better believe we did. It could have been an even bigger pain in the neck. Yeah. A pain in the neck is still a pain in the neck, Eve. It's still going to be sore when you're hunched over all that paperwork. Thanks. The first few sentences are so laid with subtext. I'm not sure where my exhaustion from having to write it ends and Jesse's lament to having to read it begins. Yeah, I'll see if I can get around to that. Yeah. You'll have it for me the next time I visit. Maybe if you're nice to them, someone at the other station will transcribe it for you. Thanks. Sunshine beams through her sadistic voice. I can feel the hand cramps already. But Eve? Yes. The mood turns serious. Are you serious. sure there isn't anything you want to tell me? Yes, Jesse. There is something I want to tell you, but I'm not going to tell you that. Not a thing. Hmm. Okay, then. She moves on from it, but I'm not entirely sure she's convinced. In that case, I'll talk to you tomorrow. And the day after that. You really don't have to. Yeah, exactly, Jesse. We're not a baby. Oh, but I want to. Over and out, Jesse. <laughs> <laughs> Over and out, Eve. Arnie, get your grubby hands off my trail mix! <laughs> Radio cuts out into static, leaving my ruptured eardrums to recover from on their own. And see the headsets aside and turn to see everyone but Yosemite looking at me. I knew it all along. You're just a soft serve softie. Wah? With the cherry on top. Yosemite flips the paper over and scoffs. The pitted kind, maybe. Careful. If you bite down, she'll crack your teeth. Wah? I join her at the table and collapses in my chair. What the heck are you trying to imply? Wait for it to stop. Wait for it to stop. It's slowing down. That's good enough. Sip it. Or next time I'll actually let you burst into flames. Wow. It was just a fever. I would have been fine. Eventually. Yeah. Yeah, we'll see what happens next time. Like that makes any sense. What if there's an actual campfire or lightning strikes a tree? What happens then, huh? <laughs> what did I tell you about when you're thinking? If this truce is going to continue, you're going to need to expand to the abstract. <sighs> Your existence is plenty enough abstract for you. <laughs> Good one. Yeah, Zimity pauses over her work. She looks up and smirks. I smirk back. Who knows? It might be fun to have someone around to spar with. At the very least, she's more engaged than any camper that I've ever torn apart. This girl bites back. All right, everyone, listen up. Yellowstone and Zian stiffen to attention. Pup rolls over onto his pup butt. If you're bunking here, I want this place to stay immaculate. Last thing I want to deal with after clocking out is a pigsty. Yellowstone will handle it. She can Thanks. start cooking for one more, too. Aww. <laughs> what the heck are you doing there, little one? That's so mean, guys. <laughs> How can you just sell me up the river like that? <laughs> like that. Oh, that reminds me. What are you going to do with those campers, Miss Eve? With their lids? Make them apologize? And take them out back? Have them pinky swear not to do it again? <laughs> Take them out back? Bloody hell! <laughs> None of the above. I'm letting them off the hook. If I'm lucky, they'll get picked off by a killer in the woods. 
Otherwise, everybody gets one free pass. Both look shocked, but after glancing at each other, they shrug. Pup trots over and curls up at my feet now. Now that's funny. What do you call what funny? What is it this time? <laughs> For someone who doesn't care, you sure put a lot of energy into it. Yes, I do. Why is this automatic? Oh, that's it? We just started this episode. If I knew this was going to be the end bit, then, well, I would have... <laughs> I would have just cut it short there. Uh, I would have ended it on the, on the second episode. Oh, well. A nice little wrap-up there, but... I didn't know. That's the problem. I just didn't know. But yeah, this has been a fantastic little adventure so far. And I'm looking forward to episode 2 and the others as well. We'll take a look at the other episodes when we uh, view through these credits. And big regards to everyone who has contributed towards the creation of this game. And also helping out with the game in terms of... Was it a Kickstarter for this game? Or a Patreon? I believe it is definitely a Patreon. But a Kickstarter there might have been uh, one to... Uh, start the game out but yeah it would be interesting to see how the relationship between Eve and Yosemite or Yosemite continues because well they both definitely have the same kind of humor like when it comes to humorous times they both kind of smirk and smile at one another but when it comes to other things they both have very very differing viewpoints on them which is kind of nice, actually. You know, see some differences between the cast, and there are definitely a lot of differences between each of the four characters so far, for being Eve, Yosemite, Yellowstone, and Zeon. But my gosh, in the previous episode, I was surprised on how um, Zeon just stepped on... Oh, look at this. Special thanks to Ranger employees of National Park Service, Addison, the Center for Food Camera, Kevin Turner, all sound effects retained from there. Work of fiction, names, characters, places, instances, it's entirely coincidental. Studio Coattails is not associated with National Park Service or the Department of the Non Accurate Example of running to a National Park Service or the Department of the Interior, Publisher, Sekai Project, Developer, Studio Coattails. Try and read through all that, but unfortunately, no, that's not going to be the case. So that's been episode one of National Park. Oh, look Howdy at this. Howdy campers. And welcome to me and Zion's first fireside chat. Fireside? Hello. It's very nice to be here. No. Today we're going to do our gal Eve proud and talk about the history of the National Park Service. Aww. Before Yosemite finds out we took her books. <laughs> no. Aw, don't be square, cutie. We got this. We got this. Otherwise, you can step on my foot again and I can unleash a geyser at Yosemite for being nasty. It all nasty. started back in the 10th century when Leif Erikson. That's a little too far back, Yellowstone. What do you mean? You have to talk about the history of this kind of thing. You have to go back to where it was first rooted from. Oh, Columbus and his pilgrims, then. I don't think that's quite right, either. It's a good guess, though. The National Park Service actually has its roots in the years following the founding of the United States. In 1790, after getting permission from Congress, President George Washington obtained land near the Potomac River to build a new capital city. This city was named Washington, D.C., and the plan was for it to have a lot of really pretty parks and monuments. Is this like a geography lesson? Like the Lincoln Memorial? A little too soon. But you're on the right track! Alright, so one time we're going too far away, and another we're too into the present. These places were called the National Capital Parks, and they laid really important groundwork. Whoa, so the Park Service is old as dirt, huh? Not really. There's still a ways to go before the actual Park Service. What happened? I thought you read the book. I did! But without pictures, all those words just make me... Gaps <laughs> from this moment, when she has spirals for eyes. Oh. Well, I guess I can explain. If that's okay. Knock our socks off! Uh, I'll try! <laughs> for a long time, most parks were run by different groups. No one really thought about preserving land until people started looking to settle in the West. 
I remember what happens now. A whole bunch of hippies got misty-eyed and started thinking about how they could keep the land from getting stomped on. One of whom was... George... Yeah? Harrison? No... Uh, Kathleen! George Kathleen! Phew! Yay! Good job, Yellowstone! George Kathleen was an artist and writer. He lived with Native Americans and was one of the first outside of their tribes to paint Plains Indians in their day-to-day -day lives. While he was kicking back in South Dakota, he realized we'd be in a lot of trouble unless humans put their heads together. Not unless... By, by some, some great, great protecting, protecting policy, policy of government, of government in, a in a magnificent park, park a nation's, a nation's park, park containing, containing man, man and, and beast, beast in, in all, all the wildness and freshness, and freshness of their, of their nature's, nature's beauty. beauty. We're almost in my favorite part! It's my favorite part, too. Because in 1861, the United States Congress appointed the geologist Ferdinand Hayden to lead an expedition to the Yellowstone region of Wyoming. Hey, hey, hey! That's me! That's me! Uh-huh. And he thought you were so pretty that when he came back, he asked Congress to make you a national park. Aw, oh, he should have gone further south if he wanted to find a real cutie. Anyway... <laughs> It was in 1872 when President Ulysses Grant finally signed a bill that set aside 2.2 million acres of Yellowstone as a public park. So if you think about it, you're the first national park. Jiminy Cricket, I'm old as dirt. Yep. The Antiquities Act of 1906 made it possible to protect more areas as parks and monuments, but they were run by different departments. It was confusing. So, on August 25th, 1916, the National Park Service was founded. Ah, yes. The best holiday after Arbor and Earth Day. It would take a while before it got the power it has today. Execute Executive Order 6166. What? <laughs> Do you want to make a Star Wars reference there? Execute Order 66. Yay! You remembered again. From then on, Everything was under strict control by the Department of the Interior. And they've been yanking our chain and screwing us over ever since. You sound like Miss Eve. <laughs> it's scary. That's because I heard her grumble something about it earlier. She talks some mean jive, let me tell ya. <laughs> Woo! Would you look at that? We're all out of time. Catch you next time, campers. And remember to love our parks. And we love you, and we love your parks. Bye-bye. <laughs> I'm not done with you. Why are my books not arranged alphabetically? I put them alphabetically. <laughs> Zeon thinks you're incredibly awesome, whatever that tune was. Uh, awesome. So, this is the first episode. So, the second episode will be Happy Trails. So, I imagine it will be something to do with outside the cabin more often than in the cabin. Number three will be Daughter of Daughter of Zion. So it must be like a park that parented from Zion and over to that one. So we could be seeing a new character in Daughter of Zion. And then number four is Internal Evergreen Part 1. And episode five is Internal Evergreen Part 2. And that's it. Those are all of the episodes. So we can't select this yet because obviously only the first episode is out of the time of this recording. And thank you so much for watching, folks. This has been National Park Girls. Let's look at the gallery, actually, just to see what's going on. So that's the first one. And this is one we saw while we were with Jesse. Goes through all the different uh, phases. The National Parks. The spoopy story of this. And when that happened when this happened <laughs> it's actually quite seeming that they're both like very smug against one another yeah those two are definitely going to um, fall in love one of these days but hey let's look at the guest art as well actually so that's Zion that's Yosemite So I presume these are Twitter handles, actually. But 
things too. Nah. <laughs> the whole game there. And then National Park at the end. Um, I presume there'll be more as time goes on when the second episode is released. But I don't know when that's going to be because obviously the developers need to create it and then test it and then do everything like the voice lines and implementing each of the dialogues in place and writing out the story. But there we go. But thank you so much for watching, folks. This has been National Park Girls for now. This is the end of episode one. And then the next time on part four of my Let's Play this game, we'll be venturing into the second episode. So, sorry if it's short, such a short episode, this one, but there's only so much I can cover when there's only about 10 minutes, minutes worth of content left. But thank you so much for watching, folks. And see you all in the next episode when it releases. Thank you so much for watching and play this game for yourselves, buy it, it's actually a very very good price for what it is, it is very beautiful and I'm not sure if each episode is going to have its own price tag, so episode 1 costs this amount, episode 2 then costs that amount, etc etc, but thank you so much for watching and take care of yourselves.